Durant is out there with LeBron James. Then it's Matt Barnes. Then it's Chris Paul. And it's Mozgov in at the five, roaming the paint. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. And now here's Hayward. They set the pick. Six on the shot clock. Feeds it to Galloway. Pulls up on the wing. The shot misses. Good work defensively by Paul. To the inside, Osgov, and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there, just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. All right, now, gentlemen, two shots. Blue shot. That's good for Mozgov. A different look for Utah. Spencer Hawes is checked in for Lyles, and it's Dante Exum in for Langston Galloway. Both shots good from the strike. Jazz leading by three. Exum kicks to Gobert. Here's Hood. It's rebounded by Paul. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup for them. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for Utah? Their defense has been outstanding, closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. Another factor here tonight has been the amount of points they've scored off turnovers. And that one falls for Paul. one then this is the second attempt from the free throw line yeah i like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second despite being down that's exactly when you need to be aggressive greg you know that i mean another good job though of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line utah calls timeout and i think taking a time here to talk things over is a smart idea one of the things you want to do is make sure everybody is clearly on the same page with the game plan and sometimes you need a timeout to make sure that's the case. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Guys, I was able to listen in on what Quinn Schneider was going over with his team. He's looking for whatever they have left in the tank. He said, I know it's been a hard-fought game, but now's not the time to leave anything in reserve. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I expect you to be going all out full speed. Guys? And thank you for that, Doris. And the Lakers with possession here after the basket by Utah and stolen by Scott now Exum tried by Scott and taken away by Paul and pushing it out here's Los Angeles that's good from Barnes on the assist by Paul Paul's got his third assist on the night you know that's a case there Kevin of him making a pass to a spot and then he let his teammate run right into it. Well executed. Utah calls timeout. Derek Favors checked in for Utah. Brooks comes in for Hood. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. And that one's good. Nine points for Dante Exum. Make it 10 of their last 12 points coming off assists. You have to love the ball move. Paul with the three. Derek Favors with the rebound. Favors got his fourth rebound in this one. 
The shot by Hayward, wide open, bounces high off the rim and drops. And it's a four-point Utah lead. An excellent display of passing out there, fellas. I mean, eight of their last ten points have been assisted on. And they just keep finding the open man. And that one's good by LeBron. Big time bucket there. And you can expect to see him stay very involved the rest of the way. Utah calls timeout. They're up by one. 102 left in the game. Two left in the fourth. Exum's shot is off. And that's the shot he has to take. Exactly. That's the right look. The decision was good. He just didn't execute. Well, Paul's got him dropping right now for sure. And here's Utah. To the right side. Exum with a wide open look. Another miss by Utah. I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. You know, I think that's probably a smart move. I think so too. Ball outside. Money! Well, they're having major trouble dealing with LeBron. Utah calls timeout. They're losing by four. 29 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Hayward sinks it and what a sensational bucket to bring them within one boy what a pressure bucket that was Greg now that's coming through in the clutch and they commit an intentional foul we'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty yeah, you know what smart foul you got to try and extend the game sure it's not over the clock oh! is as much a problem for them as the score is right now so they've got to try to manage it He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And he does get the second one, and that will put them up by two. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth. Now you need every basket you can get. Greg, I think they're still alive here, but they better execute every trip down the floor from here on out. And really, I like the fact that even with the big lead, they never coasted. To me, that's a sign of a really good team, Greg, because you should always be playing against the game and yourself. I know there's an opponent out there, but when you have a lead, it's all about continuing to execute. Do what you do and stay true to that. And I like that aggressiveness and full speed ahead uh, kind of attack that they have. So it's Los Angeles taking the W in a close one. What a show they put out here at home tonight. Tremendous work all the way down to the wire. We were just wondering what would happen next. Major drama, and we saw good. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Thank you, Kevin. LeBron, tonight another example of this team's excellent work here at home. What does winning here at home mean to this team? Uh, that means a lot. It means that we would come in every night and try to protect home court and also our fans. Uh, give us all the spirit and all the enthusiasm to come out and play hard in front of them. So uh, a lot of credit to our fans that come and pack this gym every night. Uh, we're on our home floor. And, uh, and our coach staff always prepares the right way to come out and try to dominate home. Thank you for the time, sir. Guys, back to you. All right, Doris, great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks, for Clark, Greg, and Doris and the rest of our terrific crew.
This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. Now we'll go to the studio with the award-winning Ernie Johnson. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we get a chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Chris Paul. He put on such a well-rounded display offensively. He knew exactly what he wanted to do to break down the defense. Even when they made adjustments on him, he adapted. He said, OK, I can handle it. I'll step aside, do something different. This is what you love to see out your star players. He's the guy you rely on to give a team a win. Both ends of the floor, shouldering the scoring load. He was a joy to watch tonight, Ernie. And that'll do it for tonight. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and our illustrious 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson.